I got something going on in my place. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is called scared and alone because each of us are alone in our own locations and something <laughs> weird happens in all our locations. Something just weird. Hi everyone, it's Dean Haglin. Welcome once again to another exciting live paranormal investigation of Scared and Alone. We are coming to you from across the country and we are investigating one of the most historic buildings in all of America. It is the John Proctor House from the Crucible is Salem, Massachusetts. We are with our team of paranormal investigators, starting with over on the East Coast. It is the gentleman psychic, our very own spectral Bob Ross, Richard Lell Lillard. Richard Lell, how are you? I am very well, my friend. How are you? I am fantastic. And then coming to us from our home state, my home state, it's Mr. Todd Bonner, ladies and gentlemen. Todd, how are you? Hello. I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm actually getting back in the swing of this stuff here. Fantastic. And then coming to us from Indiana, Haley, how I mean, are you? Good. I should say I may look a little different, you know, just a little pink in the hair. A little pink in the hair. But I want to you follow know. up uh, before we go into the show. From two weeks ago, uh, you brought that doll, which was an exact <laughs> match of the doll that was in the closet at the uh, Bray Burn Mansion. And yes. there was some sort of transference. I don't know what happened, but the doll had energy. Suddenly jumped over to you. Your lights started going off and on. And then when I yeah. tried to talk to you about it at the end of the show, your audio kicked out. I forgot about that part. Yes, that yeah. was so crazy. I do remember when she showed that doll and I actually had a different haunted doll. And I was like, hold on a minute. I know that I have that doll. It's and the, as soon it's as from I the same it, company, like the same doll so. manufacturer, right? It looked yes. identical. So right. what happened? <sighs> it was... Seriously, that moment right then and there when I switched them out. I mean, when I brought her in, this is Eloise. Eloise, yeah. Like, yes, all the lights started going off. I had a horrible, horrible night. Um, I almost messaged you guys and was like, round of applause, Courtney. Thanks for showing us that doll because now I'm having problems. <laughs> oh, um, no. What happened? Nightmares, um, <laughs> lots of weird creaking, like walking through my hallways. And she was completely knocked over on the ground. And what? I thought her face busted. I try to be so delicate with her because she's so she's such an old doll. She's so fragile. Yeah, and she was just completely. Um, she was on a little couch over here, completely falling off. <sighs> wow! And how long did that last? Was it more than just the weekend, or did it go? Um, kind of it kind of it lasted through the night and all day Sunday. So I was dealing with that little, you know, parade from uh, the Proctor House. It's Courtney Buckley, our very own ghost bait, ladies and gentlemen. Courtney, how are you? Stuff has already been happening no. today, um, which I'll get into in a second. But it's today's a very important day. If I can take a second, it is yeah. World Autism Awareness Day. World um, Autism my son, Awareness Day. Yeah, yeah. my son Nathan is, has autism, and it's mm -hmm. his favorite day. So I just wanted to say Happy Autism Awareness Day to Nathan, and I love you, and I'm proud of you. Oh, Nathan! Yay, We're Nathan! So proud of you. He's also <laughs> Uh, Richard Lowe, is that correct? <laughs> yes. I have, yeah. ha hi, Nathan. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We love your mama. She's so great. So for all of those who are watching and joining us now, you are part of this live investigation. John Proctor's house had the red door, which suggested it was open to all travelers traveling through, seen in this photo here. Uh, any door painted with a red door in New England was welcomed for travelers. This house was no exception in Peabody, which was originally uh, Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah. And, and he actually, he was the first, he wasn't the only male that was executed for accused, as an accused witch in oh, Salem I, during witch trials. He was the first male. Um, but I believe there were, there were five, 14 women and five men, and then Giles Corey, who was pressed to death. Oh, well, there we go. I thought he was the only, but he's the first. Yeah, the first. And at the time, he was protecting his wife. His wife was pregnant. He was defending her. And they accused him of witchcraft and yep. sent him to the gallows. Understand that they also ransacked this very uh, facility that you're in now. Technically yep. a tavern, now the home 
of uh, where you're sitting. He was very outspoken about the atrocities that were taking place here in 1692. He didn't believe in the witch trial, like in, in the accusations that were being made. He thought it was all craziness, which it, of course right. it was. So now and you can definitely feel that not just here, just this whole area. It's like in the ground. Like it's, Salem is a very unique place. I know this is PV, but um, this whole area where all this happened, it's it's like in the dirt. Yeah, because technically this house is on the site of the original John Proctor house, but his son did some major renovations and technically moved it off its original foundation. Am I getting that right? Um. Well, and the, the tavern, there's thoughts that like the tavern was here that he ran also, but um, his son, the house as you see it today, I mean, well, the beginnings of the house as you see it today was built by his son and then added on to over time. But right. this hearth behind me is the original hearth from the 1600s. And then downstairs in the basement, which is funny enough where I met all of you beautiful people, um, that is the original foundation of the house from the 1600s as well. Right. What uh, and so you say stuff is happening already. I'm getting some weird bass coming through my speakers. What is that? I was uh, about to ask if you guys hear that. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Sounds weird. like someone's pushing yeah. things. A Congo drummer or creaking? Or what is that? Is somebody else in the room with you, Courtney? No, you're by yourself in this house. What is that? That thing there it goes again. What is do you hear it, Courtney? I hear it through my speakers, not in the house. Todd, are you hearing that? Yeah, I hear it too. I hear it, and it's not me. It's not me. Usually, it's me, but it's not me this time. No, I think it's. I think this one is communication. It's. It's like a, a recurrent. It sounds like bongos or something. Like it's, yeah, a, it's, like a, it's a consistent beat. Yeah. What is the ground vibrating below you, Courtney, or something? No, but you know what? It makes me think of like the beat is like the heartbeat that we had at the Emory Estate. Like the house had a heartbeat. Oh. And we've said a lot of times that this house feels like there's definitely spirits here, but it also feels like the house has its own energy. And I wonder if maybe that's if we're picking up on something like that again, like we did yeah. at Emory Estate. Well, it's definitely not my chair, as uh, the producer suggested, because I am on a pivot chair. I'm not on my creaky uh, uh, gaming chair. I don't um, even hear it now. Yeah, no, now it yeah. stopped, right? It was a low rumble for the longest yeah. time, but now it just stopped as soon as we focused on it. Courtney, uh, it just give us a little uh, description of where you are. Yep, this is the, the parlor area. So you can see the kitchen is off back here. Mm -hmm. And we have the rest of the room here. The ceilings are very low because it's an old house. Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's a... Decently sized room. Obviously, the hearth is the the it's centerpiece amazing. here. But and so, if I recall, this was sort of where uh, all the travelers would gather. Uh, yep. The so meals. the red door is actually right. I mean, all the doors are red now, but the the front red door is right here. Right. So something's uh, sorry. Something's uh, dribbling. It's not raining in Michigan. But I got something going on in my place. I'm sorry. This is called scaring alone because each of us are alone in our own locations and something <laughs> weird happens in all our locations. Something just weird. I have a really like a heavy feeling right now. I don't know what Me it is. Me too. Yeah. Right? Something. I don't know if it's the room you're in, Courtney. And I know there was fun times there and tragic times. I don't know if those energies are mixing right now or something, but it's. I feel so it, off. It's know. like a yeah. strong anxiety, like almost like yeah. something setting on top of your chest. Mm -hmm. I'm getting For very me. lightheaded. Yeah. Like uh, that anxiety, light, lightheaded. Like I'm just, getting that too. I like it, it feels like my ceiling's caving in on me. All right. So I have, I put a K2 in the hearth. Okay. And then I have another one in my hand. And my lights just went out. Todd, uh, lead us with some questions, perhaps we should ask of whatever. First, I, just, I, I would like to, all the energies in the house, could you come down and, and meet with Courtney? Uh, she means you no harm. And all of us just want to talk to you. If you can come down with her. I just have a, such a weird feeling. I don't know. I felt odd even saying that right now. I don't know why. Yeah, right? Uh, and uh, Haley Castanella said there's three males two females and a couple children but not from the house so ex 
exterior uh, guests or coming into the facility. Uh, Courtney, do you want to repeat what Todd just said so they could hear you in case? Okay. Um, all right. So everybody here in the house with me, you know me. Um, you've, you've made your presence known to me before. As always, we just want to talk. It's safe. Um, everybody that's here, come down in here. Gather around the hearth with me. Oh, I just got chill. So no. Come gather around the hearth with me, and let's let's have a conversation. If 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 you're here and you can hear me, and you want us to know that you're here, make a sound that we all can hear. <laughs> 